All right. Let's see if Bum once again can can make them proud. Mm -hmm. PS2. Classic starter here for Smash Ultimate. And like a, a lot of um, a lot of Jax people know Sisalex for his technical ability. Oh, okay. Um, he has he does a lot of magnet cancels and a lot of double jump cancels. And he's super super aggressive um, when he gets a hit. Mm -hmm. And um, it comes to be his downfall sometimes, but it's also his greatest strength. Yeah, definitely a different uh, way of style of playing compared to Zelda. Zelda looking to kind of camp and throw out the phantoms a little bit and then hit that one sweet spot to kind of end that stock. Right, and uh, you see here, Cicelex trying to find his way in, actually taking his time. A good pivot grab there, but the back throw is not going to do much at that percent. Stylix doing a great job of challenging Zelda right now. Right. Um, he's also doing a good job of hitting that two frame, goes for the down smash there, does not get it unfortunately, but he's still in a good spot. He gets back on stage avoiding that phantom, and it just looks like Bum can't really get many hits right now. He's having a str uh, struggling to hit him when he's not uh, approaching. Right. So Silex is able to just pick and choose when he wants to come in. Not able to get over there in time with the yo-yo. Why finding himself back in the neutral stage? But Sisolek has not got Sisolek has not gotten hit, and there it is, the magnet conversions that he's known for with the into the double jump cancel bear. And uh, Sisolek hasn't gotten hit until just now, but that was a long period of time where he was just taking his time in neutral and not giving Zelda anything. He's not giving any openings for Zelda to get damage. Mm -hmm. Sisolek is doing a good job just staying above Zelda, who has a trouble time. Uh, hitting above without that up air. But right, he's just playing outside of that range that Zelda can hit. Mm -hmm. And that's super, super smart by him. Yes, he's using uh, Ness's air mobility very well, finding himself lapping in percent now. Right. Another PSI magnet movement coming in. Ooh, what a forward smash and neutral. Yep. Almost taking that stock. Oh, it looks like, wow, what an angle for him by there. Um, I really thought that. Oh, I really thought that he was going to uh, not be able to make it back there, but a really good angle is going to be off screen. Those yeah. Tough to hit. But the All up right. smash will take it. Yep, he gets the up smash there. Normally, like people would have just gone for a grab there, but he knew that the grab wouldn't kill. Goes for the up smash and takes the stock. Very optimal play. Nice. Right, so he gets trapped there. Good recognition right there by Bum, knowing that he didn't have anything to get out of the corner, and he just takes the Phantom. Ooh. Multiple up tilts. Nice drag down combos there from Sisalex. And I think local Bum needs to start throwing out some anti airs because Silex is just continually coming from above. Gets a couple of up tilts in that nair though. Good 30% conversion. Yeah, some good stuff by him. It is the Piquet Thunder is going to catch the two frame again. He's been pretty good at that this so far. Oh, an air dodge coming from Silex, but once again recovers. Nice, taking his time on the ledge, goes high. Super smart stuff by Sisalex there. Ooh, the movement, but Vocal Bomb able to cover it. Silex just looking for that opening, playing patiently. Finally finds it. PK Fire into Nair, into PK Thunder. Ooh, and the Owlbear is going to take it. Nice. And um, it was a good job by him actually taking his time there. Yeah. Not something that that's known to be a strength, mm -hmm. but um, a good job by him nonetheless. He, he know that he did not have to rush it. He was in the lead. And he held it very, very well. Definitely in certain matchups, uh, you know, his adaptive adaptability to kind of just chill out. And, you know, Zelda can't really chase you down. So right. he's not going to come and approach you very often. Um, unless, you know, he gets one of those PK fire reflected at him. But other than that, he's yeah. just going to be looking to, to camp. And Silex is able to take his time and takes that game. So we'll see if the bomb, local bomb, changes from the Zelda. Maybe we saw him hovering over that Palutena in the last set. Right. But we'll see.
So I'm thinking right now. Yep. Wow. Oh, the Marth? Interesting. Okay. okay. This is the first time I've seen Bum switch. He, he I I have yet to see Bum's Marth. Right, and he definitely contemplated it uh, earlier versus the set versus the Robin. Uh -huh. But he he was it was Paolo that he was contemplating. But right. The Marth here, maybe the extra range he thinks will help him in the Nest matchup. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was that was so strange. He was definitely <laughs> behind him, but still down tilting him. That hitbox is kind of odd. Yeah, it's a big beat coming in from Ness. That was strange, him, but a good amount of damage. Ooh. But bum, doing a lot better right now. It looks like the counter pick is working out, especially on battlefield. Yeah, I think the stage is the more important part here. Um, battlefield definitely helping Marth a little bit more. Right. Um, everywhere on the stage is in Marth's range, so. It's really good by him to pick his character on the stage. Ooh, gonna get caught Ooh. by that PK fire though. No jump on Bum, but he makes it back to the ledge. Another PK fire. Ooh, good air dodge read coming in from Bum. Oh, he's gonna oh, eat the up wow. smash though. I'm surprised he didn't go for the shield grab there, but he wanted to be sure. Um, and he gets the up smash. What a pulls what out a Silex's movement though with the up smash into up air. Right, he just gets the tipper up there, and that's going to take it. The Marth is definitely doing a lot better than the Zelda. For sure. Counter pick paying off for Bum right now. And it feels like Bum like has a little bit more leniency in forcing the interactions. Yes. Um, with, with, with Zelda, you have to kind of like wait, take your time, throw some phantoms out, and then it like find your your um, point of getting damage. But it feels like Bum in this matchup can force the interactions a little bit more and it's working out for him. Yeah, he's staying oh. on the offensive right now. It counters wow. the ill-advised up be above stage. Bum with the big brain plays right now, yeah. giving him that stock lead. Catching Sisalex, a little panicking a little bit after getting the, his double jump PK, his double jump PK Thunder stuffed by the down tilt. He didn't have a jump, and instead of waiting, he immediately upbeat. And Silex pouring on some 40% damage here though on some tech reads. Yeah, kind of getting himself back into this. Can nice. see up air, not quite gonna take it via uh, Bum with a nice DI. Whoa, whoa, the there in the up tilt. Doing well with these conversions, the PK flash, not going to connect, and another jump read there. Yeah, Bum. continues to call his jump. Yeah, Bum is getting caught doing that multiple times. There's the PK fire from the platform, making that arc really hard to deal with. And Silas taking the lead back now after that second stock. Once again, so early. And he, once again, he's catching another jump. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's pretty much on to Bum's jump habit there. So yeah. Just Bum kind of has to mix up the approaches. Maybe some empty hops. Ooh, nice air dodge, or a spot dodge, rather. Looking for a roll in. Nice. Ooh. Wow. wow, and once again he died the same way every stock. The jump, he just he just knew when he was jumping off ledge. Yeah, every time, and he was ready for it. And Bum, as a player, you have to recognize 